Fools, paying for college has gotten more and more expensive year after year, and millions of families struggle to make ends meet and figure out ways to get their kids to college. But with a few simple strategies that you can use, sending your kids to college doesn't have to be the huge financial challenge it is for so many people. My name is Dan Kaplinger. I'm the Motley Fool's Director of Investment Planning, and today I want to look at how you can pay for college without breaking your budget. Now, we all know that the cost of college has gone up considerably, but with some simple tips that can get you on the path towards being able to support your kids through their, through their educations financially, it's something that you can get started with and have success with. And the first key is to start saving early. And one thing I recommend is to get working into a 529 plan. These tax-favored plans allow you to set money aside for college on a tax deferred basis and if you use that money for your educational expenses it's actually tax free and so that can save you a whole lot of money now it makes sense though to get the right plan all states offer plans but you're not locked in to your particular state's plan so you can choose the plans that will work best for you and you'll find that many plans outside your state might actually be a better choice for instance Morningstar recently rated a bunch of 529 plans found several plans offered with investments that included investments from companies like Vanguard and T. Rowe Price, they got strong marks for their plan. Similarly, one plan that uses iShares ETFs from BlackRock also did well. But on the other hand, there were some, like a Schwab Distributed Fund in Kansas, that got poor ratings from Morningstar. So it's something that varies a lot state by state, and you really have to pay attention. The second thing to pay attention to is financial aid. As it turns out, there are a number of financial tactics you can use to boost your financial aid. For instance, financial aid considers as part of parental wealth things like your retirement accounts and, your, and the value of your home, but it's not treated the same way. And so if you divert assets into your home paying off a mortgage or divert into boosting your retirement, you might actually be required to make a smaller contribution towards your kid's education. That can help boost your financial aid. Now, third and finally, be sure to look for cost-saving opportunities. That means scouring for scholarships, fellowships, other financial aid packages, as well as making multiple applications to different schools in order to build leverage, and even looking at some state schools rather than private institutions to see if you can save money. But if you can combine those three things, it can end up making college a lot more affordable, make it a lot easier for you to figure out how to pay for college going forward. Now, for more on investing and making sure that you're able to save as much as you can for your college education, be sure to stay tuned to Fool.com. Thanks for watching and Fool on.